trade becomes a global phenomenon, the way trade is conducted between countries and regions has changed. These changes in the way one country trades with another are known as changes in patterns of trade. Patterns of trade can be observed through the types of goods or services exchanged across borders and the countries that participate in trade with one another. With changes in how trade has been conducted over the years, the world has seen changes to patterns of trade around the globe. Increasingly, it's observed that developed economies are exporting more of high-value added services, such as wealth management and legal consultancy, while importing low-value added goods produced elsewhere, such as food and clothing. On the other hand, developing countries that are abundant with low-skilled labor and land have an edge or comparative advantage in the production of low-value added goods and import high-value added services. The formation of trading blocks with multilateral free trade agreements signed based on regions have also changed where and from which countries imports originate from. With the signing of free trade agreements, countries trade more with countries in the same trading bloc, and imports are diverted from countries outside the trading bloc to member countries within the trading bloc. Another discernible change in trade patterns is the increase in trade between countries for goods classified within the same industry. No longer is trade occurring for goods of different categories. Rather, we see countries conducting trade for goods or services within the same industry, known as intra-industry trade. For instance, countries specializing in the manufacturing of cars will be exporting cars while importing cars of a different make. Production patterns of having various component parts manufactured in different parts of the world and shipped to a final country for assembly has also resulted in increased intra-industry trade, where many component parts are imported for the production of an end product that is exported of the same industry. All these changes in trade patterns seen are explained by fall in transport costs, improved technology, changes in comparative advantage, the active signing of trade agreements, and changes in taste and preference.